thoughts have reactions Don't be quick to judge You may not know the hardships People don't speak of It's best to step back And observe with coup For we all must meet our moment of truth Sometimes you gotta dig deep When problems come near Don't fear Things get severe for everybody Everywhere Hey, bro, it is good seeing everybody back in the chat, bro. Papa, it was good, bro. I'm about to say welcome, bro. I'm about to say you new to this, bro. Yeah, yeah, man, it's you, you know. Damn, bro, I appreciate you so much, <laughs> bro. For real, bro. Yes, sir. Man, bro. Man, like it's a family reunion for a little bit. Star Wars type for a minute, you know, I ain't never seen Star Wars, so I couldn't be in it, bro. <laughs> That's good. Look, bro. I would never been into Star Wars, and my family would have got me into it. Bro, I was on and off with it, bro. Like they got me back into it, bro. I ain't gonna lie with you. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah bro. I don't think you should watch the fucking movie. Star I just Wars. watch y'all talk about this shit. <laughs> For real, straight up, bro. It was to a point where they was talking about it so much, bro. I was, I was, too, I was, I got tuned into it too, bro. For real. And though, so what I was saying earlier, bro. So with this Batman movie, did y'all see the deleted scene that came out like not too long ago? Like, I see so what the deleted scene that just came out not too long ago. They just released it, I believe, on YouTube. Maybe like maybe three weeks ago, I say. Of uh, of the Joker. Uh yeah. I mean, okay, anyway, to go to go on the little thing, I I seen the deleted scene and um, I mean. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm definitely not convinced. Um, I don't know man, man, why they me. took this, 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 this uh, turn of Joker where like, bruh, is like deformed looking. Like, I, I don't know. I, I definitely wasn't feeling that. I mean, I guess, I guess you gotta wait and see. But I definitely wasn't, wasn't feeling the new actor. Um, bruh, bruh just wasn't convincing. I, I just, I was like, whatever. It is what it is. Like, they, they going down this route. Yeah. One of my homies told me that, like, you know, this is just, like, I guess apparently, I guess a toxin did it to him or something like that when it's, like, the beginning stages. I don't really know, but, yeah, I I definitely, I was glad they didn't put that in the movie. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I think, uh, trying to just recreate Heath Ledger because, like, he mm -hmm. was the first one with the real scars on his face and stuff like that. I don't really remember seeing too much squad up in them older movies and stuff like that. And I think before the Dark Knight, I think Joker was probably in, I think he was probably in only, I think he was only in one movie before that. The one with um, Jack Nicholson. Yeah, we just had the, the pain, yo. That mm -hmm. he played the Joker before that. And like I said, none of them didn't have far. So like I like you see, like, I feel like they just trying to recreate that and he bled the feeling by giving him something more detailed or something like that to just make him look more scared and just a white face and a smile. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. Well, I was definitely I, getting I, his like too. Like, the new Joker do <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he do. Yeah. I was getting yeah. like Heath Ledger vibes watching like, for surely, bro. I definitely was. Were you about to say something, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Papa, yeah, bro. I definitely, I was... Yeah. I, um... I mean, like, let's go, like you said, like, like the whole, the whole Heath Ledger Joker, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, bro, even, I haven't even seen the full movie yet, but I heard that even Joaquin Phoenix Joker was really, really, really good, and I feel like the reason why that movie was so good, I haven't really watched it all the way through, but um, I think the parts they were, and they were very convincing, I think it's because what the actors do, and the directors and the producers of those movies, they have a standard or pretty much, I guess, a goal of how they want the Joker to be. And so far, you know, I think Joaquin and Peach Leathers, I mean, obviously, uh, uh, aside from the old school one, the new school one, I'm going to say Joaquin Phoenix, because even you, you can even say Heath Leathers is OG now. Joaquin Phoenix is the closest thing we've gotten to a real legit joke and storyline. Like, even Jared Leto was like, his was trash and Suicide Squad, so they tried to redo it in a Justice League movie, and it was better, but it still was like, bro, this is not him, bro. Like, this is just, y'all just making up what y'all want Joe to see at this point. You know, so, and then with this new movie, The Batman, it's like, they want to get aside from all the other ones. They're like, okay, you want him to be deformed looking, you want him to be scary, you know, we want him to sound like this. Like, I mean, the way he was talking, 
it was psychopathic and like you know intelligent blah blah blah. But it was just like you know I don't know man. I, I just I'm like I was too hard a little bit. Spot on. Hey, so time out, time out, man, man. About that, I definitely, time out, you know, man, I'm man. Back here. Man, man, mute your mic, bro. That thing is too loud, bro. When he talk, bro. So when you talk, just take it, take your mute off when you talk, bro. Cause I about to say it's too loud when he talk. So yeah, put your thing on mute right quick. At least when you're not talking. All right, what would you? All right, so but yeah, so bro, I, I hear what you're saying about this Joker, bro. I'm seeing a lot of similarities and a lot of things with this dude. Where it's like, it's hard to have you drawn to this dude. We got to see more of this dude first, bro. Like. But to be honest, in terms of where this character is going, because we clearly about to see more of this dude, and I feel like we really get a chance to see that closure of that Heath Ledger version of the Joker, you know what I'm saying? So I think it would be cool to see that we finally get this version, like we really get no closure of at the time, because if you remember that Heath Ledger Joker, he was then about to go back to the asylum, like it seemed like that's where that character was going, where it seemed like this where this Joker is at at this point, so... I'm kind of seeing now he got the real persona, which everybody know in the comics, it starts with the Riddler, then it goes with the Joker. So they there's, there's some things that got accurate in terms of like storylines, in terms of the comics like that. There's some things they do got accurate, but it's just, it's just some things, I don't know. I think it's just the, we seen too many Jokers too, so it's kind of like, we don't know how to invest in this one. It's like, bro, we just, we got Heath Ledger, we got Joaquin Phoenix, bro, we got uh, Jared Leto, bro, and it's like now him, it's like, I don't know if it's like you want us to invest in all, especially this one. But I do like this actor, though. I ain't going to lie. I do like this actor. Yeah. I do believe yeah. he could pull this off. But based off this movie, though, like, it's hard for people to invest in it just after, just based off one scene. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. As time goes on. Um, But, I mean, as far as other characters, man, I, I didn't think that I would like Robert Patterson's Batman. Like, I didn't think. But, bruh, really... Bro, I really pulled it off, bro. Like, I was like, bro, I went from Twilight to being like, bro, what is this? To like, bro, being a Batman, bro. So I really, I really think that was legit. Like, he really, like, everything from his suit, like the gadgets, bro, like his eyes, bro, like when he liked the contact cameras, that was so, that was so Arkham Knight, bro. I was like, that's crazy. When I finally, when I seen who it was, I'm like, bro, that's the dude from Twilight. I'm like, I'm like, he better out, he better be the best fucking Batman I ever seen. Cause B, Bmo know me, Terry know me. Like, Batman is my superhero, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, he balling, and he balling. You feel me? And he whooping <laughs> ass while he balling. So, I like, I'm a real Batman head. And like you said, like just to see him play that role, I didn't have no complaints about the way he played Batman. It was, it was, it was. I, I ain't gonna lie. Like this movie was almost as good as Dark Knight. Like yeah, bro. Dark Knight so high for me though. Like I can't even say it was all. Um, I can't like it's hard to say it was really as good as Dark Knight because I didn't watch Dark Knight three times in a row on my couch. Like straight <laughs> up, just all fucking day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, right. man, most definitely. Yes. He um I mean literally every character in this movie really had um that real Gotham City feel to him. Like the Batman did, did obviously, you know, um, you know, uh Selene Kyle, like Catwoman, like Zoe Kravitz, bro, she really played Catwoman. Like yeah, the did. best I've seen, bro. I mean, besides the OG one from you know, the Michael Keaton's Batman, like she was definitely like right there, man. The Penguin was on point, um, man. The Riddler, man. Like obviously, I mean, his look, he looked a little retarded, but I mean, you know, I get it. They like trying to modernize it, you know. Obviously, give him like you know his own little. I wouldn't be sure about the suit, but his character. I didn't. Even, I didn't even know about this actor, hey. bro. I didn't. I didn't know who this actor was, but he look. definitely left his mark as the Riddler and yeah. uh you know just 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 for I mean respect to all the characters bro um like this was really good I had I had not no idea it would be this good of a of a new Batman movie you feel me so right and yeah not, and I think that go back and it go back on the Joker thing and I think that's why they didn't put the Joker all the way in the movie because like you said it seemed like they was trying to force it a little bit, and you like, like you said, like we gotta, we gotta grow into it. It ain't the same Joker from even the Joker movie. It ain't the same Joker from the Dark Knight. So it's like, you feel me? Y'all had all of these roles of the Joker, and you like, you feel me? Like I, I felt like they already kind of like what was, was Ben Affleck the last Batman? 
Ben Affleck oh, yeah. was the, like, who was the last Batman in just? Not Ben Affleck yeah, was, that yeah. was shit, Batman. That was a fat Batman. That was fat <laughs> man, okay? You <laughs> can't put fat man in a black suit and call him Batman, bro. Like, so I felt like since they got all the roles so good together, like when they got to that Joker part, it was like, all right, we're just going to cut this in the deleted scene just for the Batman heads and all the real fans and shit like that. We're not going to really put this dude all the way in the movie. Man. Yeah, bro. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I was surprised you said that about Ben Affleck, bro, because I actually did like that that Batman, which is weird. But I didn't like it based off the beginning. I liked it towards the end, which at that point, it was they was basically scrapping that version of Batman at that point after that, that Snyder cut, which is... Hella weird, like, I don't know. But I'm about to say, Deontay, bro, you still up in here? You still trying to uh, say something? I don't, I don't know if he's still up in here. I'm about to say his thing was on mute in his video, so. No, I'm in here. Oh, for sure, bro, because I'm about to say, I know you a Batman head, too, bro, so I know I want to hear what you got to say on this, too, bro. Can you, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear y'all. Oh, there you go. I'm about to say, at first, I couldn't hear you at first. What were you about to say, though? Yeah, so, I mean, do you want my take on... On Batman, the whole movie, or, or like just the Joker part of it? Because I could do both. Just let me know um, which one you want me to start off with. Well, you, I about to say, we haven't got started on the movie yet, so you might as well just start okay. off. Just go ahead, bro. So, as far as the movie as a whole, it was a great Riddler. Yes. Batman, I'll say this. I, I, I talked to some people, and they were like, nah, I didn't like Batman because he, was, he wasn't like into a Sherlock Holmes. And I'm like, bruh, if you read the paper that he had on the desk, it said Gotham Project, mm -hmm. and he was two years in, you're not going to be that great of a detective right. when you're only two years into this thing, right. you know? And I'll say this, each and every step, we were trying to figure it out, like, okay, like, I was with the riddles, though, and he was like, like, like in the beginning, when dude was about to explode in the fire, right? Yeah. he was giving out the riddles, and I'm like, oh, okay, I can get some of these riddles, like, you know, these seem relatively easy. Then as they progressed, I'm like, oh snap, these are getting harder and harder. Right. Yeah. So, you know, that's what it was. That's what it came down to. And each it, this movie was like what three hours long. Right. I yeah. enjoyed every single second. <laughs> was he was he a great Bruce Wayne? It's hard to tell because at the end of the day, you've seen him mostly as Batman, not as Bruce. Right. Whereas typically yeah. before, like if you look at like Michael Keaton's Batman with Tim Burton. You get both. You see Batman Forever, Batman and Robin. You get both. You get the you get the uh what is it the Christian Bale trilogy. You got both and like and Alfred was there every step of the way as well. Right. So with this one, I'm like okay. For 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 this version of Bruce, like you know it it has its give and take here and there, but it's still interesting that he is like what like late twenties maybe early thirties doing this. And he does still relatively look young, but right. the fact that he's actually trying to do all this and Alf the age difference between Alfred and Bruce was was dope. I hated it. And like I go like us, Ben Affleck's Batman, the only great thing about him was the fight scenes. That was it. Yeah. Anything else, like anything else like white like him, Bruce and Alfred should not look like their brothers 10 15 years apart like you know right. it don't it don't, yeah. just don't seem right right you know so for this batman like catwoman was there and how they introduced penguin like you know and how like actually if you actually went to the url that he gave out uh uh what was it el um uh, el rata lotter or something Rada, like that if yeah, you actually Rada, go yeah, to that yeah you can actually go to that url you can actually go to that website and it'll actually say seized by uh gotham pd that's how deep they actually went Mm. into this movie Damn. so i'm not gonna lie and i'm not gonna lie i am so glad we did not get another visual of his parents dying yeah. however when you do see him go into the funeral and he sees the boy he pictures himself as the boy who lost his dad his Damn. mom is still there but you but you can kind of tell us like okay he yeah. pictures that though right. and i'll go like and for riddler Riddler was great. I'm not gonna lie. It threw me off a little right. bit that he was like this real nerdy looking dude. But at the end of the day, I was like, yo, I want to know more about this though. This was the best Riddler that we've gotten. Yeah. Because don't get me wrong, because Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey's Riddler was cool. Jim Carrey's Riddler was cool. Don't get me wrong. But this Riddler was like, was like Arkham series Riddler. For real, bro. 
For like real. it was like Arkham series Riddler, like all like just without the looks. That that's all it was. And on top of that, like you don't really get to see Riddler actually getting his hands dirty. Like you don't really get that. So for him to do that in this movie, I was like, yo, they are really trying to go with it. Like I said, you got Penguin, you got Falcone, you got the Moronis. Like, you know, everything was just falling into place with that. And I like how they're using... I like. I actually think they're using part of the animated movies as a source material as well. Because one of the movies that we had just watched, uh, I think it came out like around Halloween last year. And it talked about Bruce and I think uh, Moroni being at their house... And he had bullet holes up in him, and his dad was doing surgery to take them out. So then when you watch the Batman movie, this new one, and he's like, yeah, like, like you know, I remember you. Like, you know, I was up in your dad's house, and he was taking bullets out of me. And I was like, oh, snap, they're actually, like, really going in-depth with this. Mm. So, I like I said, this, this whole entire movie was so good, and I'm like, look, now, like, now, you can... This, this is the movie that we should have gotten... For the uh, like you no, know, like a Snyder verse. Mm-hmm. You know, that that's the movie that we should have. This is the movie that we should have gotten to do it. So overall, this was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like you said, the Riddler. Like I feel like that was like the biggest part to this movie because I feel like he was. Like, I feel like when it comes to the first villain, when it comes to the French, I feel like he sets the tone like going forward for all the rest of the villains. You know what I'm saying? So to see how this really set up, like you said, it was very different to how we normally look at him. But have y'all noticed that they try to mix that Zodiac type of like killer like mix of with this type of uh, really like that's why I kind of noticed. I'm like, he kind of reminds me of like the Zodiac killer in a way, like kind of like a mix of like how the um. Like out here, so I'm, I kind of like how they mixed that part of Riddler. Like, that was pretty dope. But the dude that played him, like when I heard he was playing Riddler, I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, like he know how to play like a crazy villain for some reason, bro. Like this dude, I think his name Paul Dan or something like that. But no, he's he's good, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And he, like you said, the more you was seeing more into the riddles, bro, like the more you was digging deeper into him, like bro, you just wanted to know more about this dude, bro. Like it's like. Like you said, like, Batman was thinking he was knowing the riddles, but it was kind of like, nah, bro, I'm seeing you not figuring this out. Like, it was to a point where it was like, Batman had to see a bigger picture, you know what I'm saying? It was like, it was to a point he had to see yeah. consequences where we don't really see that with Batman, which was been my problem with Batman over these last couple of years with the movies. It's like, they kind of just show him being perfect. It's like, we don't really show, like, they don't really show necessarily his flaws. They just show he can overcome everything. And, like, that's why I hate about it, at least in this one. Like, for instance, remember when he was fighting the beginning, right? He was fighting the dudes with the, with the paint. I'm- you realize that even when he was whooping them dudes, don't get me wrong, but you can tell he still was struggling with them dudes. Even the lens he had in his eyes, like, you could tell he was studying their moves. He was figuring, like, tactics ways to how to, like, escape and all like that. Like, this one, they really going to death with his character, like, with his escape routes and all like that. So I'm like, I love how they going into depth with that because in the last movies, they did not really go into, like, what makes Batman to what he is, what make him so, like, perfect his skills and all like that. So... I thought that was dope how they did that, bro. Because I'm like, because you know, leading into the next movie, bro, this this has to be, it's like, they didn't about to put this up top with Dark Knight because it's on that peak now at this point. Because it's like, you already got a real and a Joker up in there. Just kind of like how they did Scarecrow and the Joker with the last franchise. You know what I'm saying? It's like the same thing we seeing, but that's kind of like how Batman is. It's like, because he got so many villains where you have to do it by each film. You know what I'm saying? How you got to do it from each one. So. I like where this is going, bro. My biggest question is where who gonna be the who gonna be the villain for the uh, for the third one is we clearly know Joker's gonna be the next one. Or they gonna leave Joker as like I hope they I hope this is what they do with the Joker. They leave him in the asylum, just leave him as like the consultant to everything, like just have him be just the voice of reason to everything that's going on in Gotham. And have be like bring Bane or bring like I wouldn't even say Bane, bring a villain that we haven't seen in hell long. You could bring Freeze, like Bring a villain that we I haven't seen before. Like you know what I'm saying? Bring really Scarecrow up. And Scarecrow only got like that little cameo in the first one. And have any of y'all seen the Gotham series? Gotham series? Yeah, I've seen a little bit of it, but I haven't seen too yeah, much. Yeah, I, I dabbed into it a little bit. All right, so I think that's where they kind of got the Riddler from, from being like the little scrawny nerd. Because if you remember in the Gotham series, like. They showed you, like, all the way in the beginning, like, Batman don't even really exist, you feel me? So, yeah, like you point, said, like, they took cool. some out of the cartoon. I feel like they took a little bit out of that um, out of that series, too, and, like, dabbed it up in there, too. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they do that. But everything, I ain't gonna lie, I, I hella agree with everything y'all saying, like, like, 
Niggas is spot on. For real, bro, because that, because, like, this movie had, like, it yeah, was, you got you to gotta remember, bro, this was, this was going to competition with Spider-Man, bro, and this was, like, this is, this is, like, clearly the biggest Spider-Man movie ever, bro, clearly got all the Spider-Man up in it, bro, so it had a lot of, like, it had a lot of weight going up behind it, bro, so to see it was holding its way after all this time, bro, I give it that, bro, because even after the Spider-Man movie, bro, I'm thinking it had no chance at all, bro, I ain't gonna lie with you. But the fact it don't matter how good the Spider-Man movie is, this movie can still hold its weight. That's how good it is, just in general, bro. Like, like you said, from the score, bro, the characters, bro. I love the villains on this movie. Like, I almost love the villains on here more than I loved on the Dark Knight. And the reason we love Dark Knight is really be, and I, I'm gonna speak for me. I love Dark Knight because of Joker. It was not because of Batman. I'm gonna be behind with you because I did not like right, Christian Bale as Batman, oh, bro. What about me? The Bane one, I liked the second one, bro. The Bane one with Batman getting his back broken, having to go into the cave, yeah. and I was born in the dark, you only live in it, shit. That was like, that was the shit. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, I don't know. I was like, reason, bro, bro. I only like, liked the Dark Knight, bro. Like, I think, okay, Scarecrow was decent. Like, I think it was like, lead to the second one, I think it was it was a good enough K for the first one. I could, I don't know why, bro. I just couldn't see Tom. I think because the way I picture Bane is the big dude, like, I can't picture like you know what I'm saying like a human version of Bane for some. I just can't like it just yeah, it, it, it throws me off so bad because the way I really I see mean, Bane, it's like all right comparing that one to this one like that one was kind of like more like realistic and this one like like kind of everybody saying it was more got to me like it's always cloudy like the buildings look kind of old and like they still got gargoyles on them and stuff like that yeah. like in the first yeah. year, it was like it was like more up to generation like. Batman on a yacht with like five white girls and Alfred and you feel me like stuff like that you feel me we didn't really get to see like the bachelor and all of that it was like really yeah. more got to me in, in this one that's what make it yeah. hella good too because it, it, you kind of get the best of both worlds and both of them that's why I said it was kind of just as good as the other one like yeah. depending on yeah. who you are and what kind of Batman fan you is I wouldn't blame nobody for saying it was better than Dark Knight even though I wouldn't say that shit I would yeah. never say that because the I'm Dark Knight that's top tier movie for me. I love bro. that movie yeah. because of Joker. It was never based on Batman, bro. Because when I think yeah. of Batman, bro, Simon, you remember when we went to go see The Dark Knight, bro? We used to always laugh every time when he used to interrogate the Joker. Like, his, his voice in general used to make yeah. us laugh. Like, yeah. I couldn't take him seriously, bro. I just couldn't, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I yeah. love Christian Bale. Don't get me wrong, bro. But him as Batman, bro, it took me to the third movie to really get. Okay, I'm like. Now I'm seeing it, but it's like, bro, like I should have seen this in the first one. It was, it was just hard for me to get into it. <laughs> this Robert Pattinson yeah, Batman, though, bro, from the first, bro, that first scene I seen it with that dude, bro, I'm like, I immediately seen, I'm like, bro, this is our Batman right here, bro. I can, I can see it. He got the look, even like with the suit, you know, with the vehicle, the suit, everything's about to upgrade, even with his moves. You see, yep. they about to build all that by the next, by the time the next one come out, and that's what I like about this one. Like we're basically seeing, like for instance, when he jumped off the building. He's fine with the bat suit, and he fall, yep. and he break his shit. He's then about to break his back falling. Like, bro, I love yeah. they showed that because any other Batman, bro, they would have just showed he would have catapulted off a building, and he would have just landed like nothing happened. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, like, yeah, you know what? This this Batman, I like how he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't necessarily was skilled. Before. Like, he wasn't completely, completely Batman yet. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, yeah and I love yeah. that. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Also, also, this Batman wasn't. This Batman didn't have. You know the um, dang. I, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, where it's like, where it's like the character is like pretty much like death proof. Like I forget what they call it, but like the character like don't get oh, hurt. The plot you know, armor. Man. What happened? Like you didn't have the plot armor. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Plot armor. I like how this Batman like. Like you said, you mentioned like how he how he how, like how he was fighting people, and he wasn't just dogging them out completely, making it look like it was effortless. You know what I'm saying? Like he was like getting tired and like having to do this, and like you said, when he fell, like it 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 hurt. It wasn't like oh, you know, I'm I got this suit on that's indestructible, and like I'm you know like no, nah, like I like how they didn't like fully give him plot armor like that. Like you know, even when like he he literally had to um. You know, when he was fighting at the end, you know, and he was whooping everybody and, and you know, he pretty much uh, 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 was saving Catwoman. Like, 
bro was unconscious, bro. Like, we've never seen Batman unconscious in any movie like that. Like, even after he got his back broke by Bane in the Dark Knight, like, like, yeah, okay, his, obviously you can't move like that because your back is broken, but, like, like, bro was unconscious, bro, and had to get brought back, like, ugh. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, just just all that, bro, and, the, again, the complete Gotham feel, bro. Like, the beginning of the movie, bro, like, even with the song playing, bro, like, the... The, the little Hitman yeah. music, yeah, that reminds me of Hitman, yeah. The the yeah. everything, bro, uh-huh. was just like, that is crazy. Like, this is really Gotham City, bro. Like, yeah, it did it feel was like wild. Gotham. Like, it perfect. Like, this Batman still had flaws, and he still had kinks to, like, you know, get everything going. That's basically right. what it is. Exactly. And they showing that he's the world's greatest detective. Like, and that's something we really haven't seen in a Batman movie where they showing, like, him from a detective perspective, you know what I'm saying, with him and Gordon, like... And in times you've seen glimpses of it in some movies, you know what I'm saying? But they never really go into full depth into that, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what I like about this one, too, where they showing, like, and, like, how they brought up the difference between hope and vengeance and all like that. I like, I like how, they broke, how they broke that down in that movie because if you remember how he was basically saying how he was vengeance in the beginning, but then he was basically, he come to, like, basically all, like, the path he was going through, especially the situation where Riddle was putting him through, like, he realized, like, he had to overcome that. He had to realize that he had to come about like a different like path to go forward. So that's I like. I like how they like. It's not just in death in terms of Gotham with the side characters. It's just with Bruce Wayne and Batman and so too. So I'm like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I like how they really going into death with this Batman, bro. Like, cause I say by the third one, by the third one come out, bro, it's gonna be the Batman that we all know of, like the all the ones that y'all talk to me about. Like we gonna see that Batman by by the time the trilogy come. By this one, I think we're going to see more of the Playboy version of Batman, like more of the Bruce Wayne by the time the second one come out, probably. But, yeah, but I definitely like this one. Well, let's get to the um the side characters. Like, um, let's say, like, Catwoman. I did, like, um, what's her name? Zoe Kravitz. Yeah, bro. She she killed this Catwoman. I like her. I definitely oh, like yeah. her as Catwoman, bro. And her going forward, I like how even in the comments and stories, like, they keep it more, like, like accurate where it's, like, they kind of had that little love and hate theme between her and Batman. You know what I'm saying? It's like she's still trying to figure out exactly who he is under the mask. Cause we don't, I don't think she necessarily know who he is yet. But it's like she gonna, she gonna clearly figure him out eventually. You know what I'm saying? So, and then she usually go in her own little direction. But usually when something go bad in Gotham, she'll probably find her way back. You know what I'm saying? I think that's how the probably the second one probably probably gonna go. But. But you realize the twist with it was like Falcone was her father though. Like I didn't, yeah. I, didn't I didn't peep that part. That part kind of that was like the plot twist. I knew I was like, why was she so into like find this dude for? Her? Like I knew it had to be a reason behind that. I was like, damn, bro. That's I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, bro. That was that was Nanigans and uh, what's his name? The Penguin, bro. You know who was playing the Penguin though? Which is even crazy, yeah. bro. Uh, dude, he played the dude that played uh Bullseye from uh. Colin Farrell, yeah. yeah, Colin Farrell, Colin Farrell, yeah, Farrell. bro. When they showed his makeup and stuff, I'm like, dude, bro, they, they did that so good, bro. You didn't even realize it was him, bro. Yeah. And he played yeah, it I, so honestly, good. Yeah, I, I had only known because I had looked at the cast serious. before I seen the movie. And I was like, what? I was like, he the penguin? I was like, okay. But he he uh, he killed yeah, it, bro. He like was spot on, like, bro. I, I wouldn't even expect him to act like that, to be honest. I was like, really? dang, like, he really liked the thing. You know, bro, you know who I, even though he, I was, you know, they, you know they they gave him they um you know gave him uh what was it there was like representation in this movie so he was black Jim Gordon bro like oh yeah I like how he was in this like Jeff Wright same dude that played um uh the Watcher uh from oh yeah what uh, if? the What If series you know yeah. I like. I like, I mean, he was really, he was a hey, really good Jim Gordon. The same like, dude that was, played was Peepers really off shaft. Like, he even <laughs> looked like him, too. <laughs> he looked like a, he looked like a real black Jim Gordon. So that was really funny. And like, he, I like how he was really involved in everything. And he was the only one that was like, because, you know, obviously, like, really in Gotham City, like, even, like, law enforcement and first responders don't even really get along with Batman. So I like him for Jim, like, how him and Jim Gordon, like, had that, like, connection. Like, he's with me type thing like you know i don't really need y'all's jurisdiction you know what i'm saying like i like i mean i liked it bro his character his character was legit like he was um he was surprisingly really good um yeah everybody bro literally like like everybody's everybody's role in that movie was really just top tier bro yeah, like zoe yeah. kravitz bro like she was you know sleek you know sleek sexy um you know knew how to fight and do all that other stuff the only thing that we really didn't see her do was like 
really like she didn't fight too much and she didn't like use her whip or nothing like that but like like i know this is like the the start of her you know what i'm saying so like yeah everybody man like you know for everybody's first role you got because you could you also got to think about it, bro batman movies I've been around, bro, for decades, bro. Like, decades on top of decades. And, like, every time there's a new character to get into a new role of a character that's either new or that has been, you get looked at, like, how, like how could this person play it like this person or play it better? You know what I'm saying? And the fact that all these characters, you know, like, we haven't seen a penguin since, you know, freaking, you know, the old DeVito, Batman. Yeah, Michael Keaton, DeVito played him? You know? Yeah. And, like, yeah, you feel me? So it's, like, the fact that we're getting all these new characters. Same thing with the Riddler. We ain't seen the Riddler. We ain't seen Catwoman. Well, we seen Catwoman in the last one, uh, in, in The Dark Knight. But Anne Hathaway, she was a boo-boo Catwoman. Um, uh, but you know what I'm saying? So for them to, that. like, Damn. yeah, she was in it, right? She, yeah, no. Damn, I forgot about anyway. that. Anyway. Yeah, hold on, hold on, though, because I got to stop right there. Anne Hathaway was not... That baddest cat woman as much as Holly Berry. Y'all about to say Holly Berry was, was definitely worse. Holly Berry was definitely the worst one. Okay, nah, 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 nah. If we don't call it, if we don't call it, Holly Berry. Holly is. I'm not gonna lie. Don't get me wrong. Holly Berry's cat woman. Yeah, it was boo boo for sure. But her like, I think her her instincts as cat woman and like her fighting was legit, even though it was like a CGI and ugly looking. But I like how she used her whip. I like how she used her claws and everything like that. But yeah, everything, that movie was like less than a five, bro. So yeah, yeah. But I mean, as far as all of them that have played Catwoman, Holly Berry was obviously like the worst. And then it goes Anne Hathaway after her. And then OG Catwoman was good. I liked her. Um, but I think, I don't know, like Zoe Kravitz Catwoman was really... Like she was really Catwoman. Like you look, like even she looking really at like, like the games, bro. You even you even compare so her to like the game, game, like Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight, um, Arkham Origins. Like, like she literally she had that look. Like yeah, she did from the like the you know what I'm saying. Like she had that she had that <laughs> attitude too. Like you know, like that stubborn, sexy attitude. Like it was just like everything was just spot on about it, bro. The like the little haircut she had, bro, was like from the games. Like I was like, this is. This mm. is Catwoman, bro. Like, like, <laughs> so the fact that they all did so well again, like, like I said, playing new characters or redoing old characters, like the pressure that's on the actors, bro, is there, obviously. And they all like executed, I think, like super well, like crazy. Mm. 